Hello students. So today in this lecture, I will tell you the protection of 1,3 diol. In my previous lecture, I told you the different methods for the protection of 1,2 diol. So this 1,3 diol, if we have a uh, this 1,3 diols, then it can be protected by using benzene chloride. So if we have a 1,3 3 if we have a 1 3 diol suppose if we have this is 1 3 diol okay then it can be protected by using benzaldehyde by using benzaldehyde in presence of acid catalyst okay. and we will get a six membered ring we will get a six member ring like this. Here pH and here H. Okay. Now in 1 2 diol, we used the acetone in presence of this acid catalyst. Here we are using the benzaldehyde. So, what is the reason that in 1 3 diol we are using the benzaldehyde, not the acetone? So let's discuss this one. So suppose if you are using uh, this benzaldehyde, then we are getting this product. And if we use if we use acetone, if we use acetone, then what would be the difference in this structure? The only difference will be. Here we have pH and H. This is pH and H. Here in place of pH and H, we will have CH3 and CH3. Okay. Now, so this is six membered cyclic acetal. Now, if we convert it into the chair form, if I convert it into chair form, then I can write this structure in this way. Okay, so here suppose this is oxygen, this is 1, 3, this is 1, 2, third position. So here one of the pH will be this pH, no doubt, this pH being a bulkier, so that will come at a equatorial position and the hydrogen will come at a axial position. Whereas in this case, if we write it in a chair form. Right in a chair form, then these two methyl group, these two methyl group, if they are present over here, then one methyl is at axial position and another methyl is also at equatorial position. So, in this case, if you will see, and this, suppose this is the hydrogen which is present over here, this is the hydrogen also present at the this axial position. So here, if we see, then there is a 1,3 diaxial interaction. There is 1,3 diaxial interaction is present. And in this case, no such 1,3 diaxial interaction is present. So that's why this is unstable. Due to this 1,3 diaxial interaction, this is unstable if we are using the acetone, then this is unstable. If we are using benzaldehyde, no such 1,3 diol actual interaction is seen. That's why this is a stable one. So, reason that we are using benzaldehyde, not acetone, is that the here we will this benzaldehyde, the phenyl group will come at the equatorial position, being the bulkier, and another hydrogen. That will come at the axial position. We will not see any 1,3 diaxial interaction. Here we will see the 1,3 diaxial interaction. This is the reason. Okay, <clears throat> so let's come to the one of the example. So what I told in 1,3 diol we will get a six member ring, and and in 1,2 diol we were getting the 
two member uh, five membered cyclic acetal so here this is six member cyclic acetal now let's see one of the question suppose if we have a beta d glucose if we have beta d glucose and what would be the product after protection if we are using one time if you are using benzaldehyde if we are using benzaldehyde in acidic condition and if we are using the acetone if we are using acetone in acid condition so what should be the product over here so <clears throat> no doubt when we have uh, many this OH uh, groups in beta D glucose so if we are using benzaldehyde then so this glucose it exists in a six member ring and in six member ring uh, in six member ring if we are using this uh, uh, benzaldehyde then we will not get the any we will not get any 13 dioxyl interaction whereas if you are using the acetone then beta d glucose in its a six membered form that is in pyranose form it will have the 13 dioxyl interaction so let's see it's a, first of all we should know the structure of this beta d glucose in pyranose form and furanose form so we know that the structure of this glucose if i write it the structure of this glucose and this is cho group oh at right position h at left position here h at right position this oh this is oh this is h oh and this is ch2 oh so this can be written in a six member ring as well as five member ring so let's write the structure of glucose in a five member ring so if i am writing in a six member ring let's in a pyranose form so this oxygen will attack at this electrophilic center and this here it, that would be finally converted to this OH. So this carbon, this is the anomeric carbon, first, second, third, and this is fourth and fifth, this is sixth. First carbon is the anomeric carbon. This is anomeric carbon. Okay. And so here this OH, this OH at first carbon may be at right position or it may be at alpha position or beta position that is it may be at right position or left position that's why it is called as the anomeric carbon. So if I write in a uh, pyranose form and I can write it in a this six member ring. Okay. So suppose this is first carbon, second one, third, this is fourth, this is fifth and one of the sixth one, this is, now this first carbon, suppose OH is at the, if I write beta D glucose, means OH is at left position. So right groups, right groups are below the plane or below the ring and left groups are above the ring or above the plane. So this is here this OH, if I am writing beta D glucose then OH is, OH on this first carbon is on the left side that is above the plane and this is B. Now at second carbon OH is right means below. At third carbon OH on left that's why above at fourth carbon OH is below and this is the fifth carbon so this is fifth carbon this is H and this is CH2OH like this above okay so this is beta D glucose this is the beta D glucose if I write alpha D glucose then this should be below now I can write it like this also 
this form also suppose this is first carbon second third fourth and fifth okay so here this oh is suppose above the plane if i am writing alpha beta d glucose then it would be above means dash or wedge form so this will be in wedge form okay so this is oh this is below that's why and at third carbon it is above at fourth carbon it is below and at fifth carbon it is above this is ch2 and this is your oh now so if this beta d glucose that react with suppose this one that is benzyl dehyde I react it with benzyl dehyde then one three di actual interaction will occur so benzyl dehyde on reaction with whom is one three di actual interaction okay uh, sorry one three diol interaction one three diol interaction will takes place where in this case one two diol interaction with acetone one two diol interaction as i told in my previous lecture one two diol interaction so here's what we can get so we should see for here one three diol only one three diol interaction one three diol interaction will occur and we have to see the one three diol position okay so where we have a one three diol so here we not we are not any one three diol group this is one two three triol here also one two three triol so this is one two and third position at first position oh is present this is second position this is third position so at third position oh is there so here the interaction can occur but if you will see and this oh is at is below the plane whereas this oh is above the plane but here we may have a uh, carbon carbon single bond rotation can occur because this carbon this carbon is singly bonded so that's why the rotation over this uh, single bond may takes place and this bond will go below the plane or this oh will go below the plane and one three di action one three diode interaction can occur over here so what we can write OH, this is OH, this is OH, and now if you see this is oxygen below, and if it rotates and it go below the plane, then this bond go below the plane, and oxygen will also go below the plane, and now the interaction can occur with this benzyl dehyde, and we will have the pH over here and H over here. Okay, so this should be the product. Now we will not have the 1 2 dial interaction in case of pyranose form. So this is pyranose form, pyranose form of this glucose. So we will not have the this 1 uh, 1 3 dial interaction. 1 2 dial interaction here because why not 1 2 dial interaction if you see then this oh and this oh is above and below the plane means they are these these two are in a different plane in the same way these two oh are in different plane that's why 1 2 dial interaction is not possible in the same way these two oh are in different plane here also the 1 2 dial interaction is not possible so that's why in pyranose form one two diol interaction is not possible now if you see uh, this glucose may also uh, exist in a furanose form that is that is one uh, that is five member ring so if you see then we can write it in a five member ring so
So if I write the five membered furanose structure, then I can write the furanose form. And okay. <coughs> so this OF, <coughs> now this is first carbon. Suppose this is number one. This is number one, this is two, this is three and four. Now this OH, suppose if we write beta D glucose, then this OH will act uh, above the plane, means left means above. Okay, this is below, this is below. At second position, at third position, at third position, this is above. This OH is above. At fourth position, it is below. At fourth position, this is means this OH, this oxygen of fourth position is forming a pyranose or pyranose ring. And it means at fourth position, we have this complete group. This complete group is present over the fourth position. Then it means we can write uh, this carbon. Okay. And this is CH, this CH bond. And we have this one of the, this OH over here. And this is CH2OH. CH2OH. Okay. Now, <clears throat> so if we see, then uh, one two. Let's see for the interaction whether this one two interaction is possible or not. So let's see. So this is our uh, furor nose, furor nose form of glucose. Now, if we see the interaction one two dial interaction, then one two dial interaction is uh, possible. And one of the one to dial interaction is possible over here. This is first carbon, second carbon. At first carbon, OH is present, and second carbon, OH is present. Here, one to interaction is possible, and the one to interaction is also possible because the beta D glucose it may also exist in a alpha D glucose. So this a bond it may undergo rotation. So if this rotates, then this easily it may. Uh, it may exist in either alpha form or a beta form. So it exists in an alpha form also. So that's why. So two interactions which is possible between this one two dial interaction will go. I'll present over here. This is O and this will after rotation. This will come over here and this is five member ring is formed over here and another so another five member ring is possible over here another five member ring is this is one of the OH and this is oxygen this is oxygen like this so like this so this would be a product so if beta D glucose that is in uh, undergo reaction with this benzaldehyde or this acetone then this product is possible okay